Hello everybody, welcome to Leaked Wine TV. I am your host Mark Fusco. We've got another edition for you of uh, the show. Uh, so we're going to do another Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, I did one yesterday. did the, uh, by the magic of video, the Castellero, if you remember that. Ooh, don't want to go over the pad there. Um, so today we've got the Nobilo uh, Sauvignon Blanc 2007 from New Zealand, the Marlboro region. And uh, you can pretty much find this everywhere. Got it at eight. I'm sorry. Got it at Costco for eight ninety nine. Uh, I'm gonna do a little rinse first because, as you can probably tell, I same shirt. Did the uh, doing two wines in one day. I've already smell some stuff off of this one. This one really you can smell off from just the bottle. So, um, a little New Zealand action, Sauvignon Blanc. And the color, it's kind of hard to tell if, if you didn't watch the videos, but it's a definite big difference. This one, a little bit darker than this one, okay? And I'll tell you why in a second about, about why it's a little bit darker. So I'm getting like green pepper. And some uh, some fruit. And I bet you it's one of those fruits I don't know what, the, what they smell like. Actually, you know what? No, hold on. Wait a minute. Maybe kiwi. Not a bad vodka, by the way, but it's a kiwi vodka. No, I wouldn't say it's kiwi, but it's definitely something else. Um, getting lots of green pepper. Um, it, it really actually reminds me of a... Um, Reminds me of a Mexican restaurant. Like maybe cilantro. Maybe that's what I'm getting. Interesting, by the way. Still getting that pepper action, maybe a little cilantro, but some sweetness too. And the acid feels more focused than uh, yesterday's wine. There's definitely some other stuff in here that I don't know. And, and it's really just down to experience. I don't. I can't identify the smell. I can't identify the taste. There's some sweetness on this on the nose, and on the palate. But um, definitely that, that 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 green pepper, uh, almost jalapeno like. Uh, really like it. I think it's great. I like it. I don't know about you. I'm gonna give it. I haven't, I haven't broken that barrier yet. I'm going to give it an 89. I think it's really, really good. Um, so anyway, so this, <clears throat> so yeah. All right, so let's talk about the winery for a little bit. Nobulo, um, the, uh, the guy who founded it uh, was actually from Croatia. They founded it in 1943, uh, moved to Auckland, New Zealand, and uh, decided that this is a great place to grow some grapes. So uh, they did that. Um, this is from the Marlboro region, which is actually in the southern island. There's two islands, two New Zealand. I think there's only two. These are two big islands. There might be a few other small islands. But there's two islands. 
And Marlboro is in the northeastern part of the um, southern island. And that's considered one of the best wine growing regions in New Zealand. Uh, this is 100% Sauvignon Blanc. And uh, Marlboro does 62% of all of the New Zealand wine production. Um, and Sauvignon Blanc is the most widely planted grape varietal there. Um, and one thing about them is they talk about is this is a, uh, the days are hot and sunny, or warm at least, and then the nights get really cool. And what that does is it helps, uh, helps with the acidity. Though I didn't get a lot of acid off of this, so, um, you know, hey. And then, supposedly, according to many, uh, some of the best Sauvignon Blanc comes from this region. Now, man, then we get some fruit on there. I don't know what the fruit is. I still think it's kiwi. Maybe it's that elusive star fruit I always hear about. Because um, <clears throat> it's not quite as intense as that kiwi. But um, anyway, about the color. Uh, I didn't put it in my notes, but I, when I was reading up on them, apparently they, they allow the skins um, to stay in contact for two to five hours with the wine. Um, and that is very likely why it's a little bit darker skin contact. Because it is a white grape. It's not like... Um, recently saw something about a white Pinot Noir, and we're talking not that the grape was white, but it was, you know, typical Pinot Noir grape, but the, the wine was a white wine. Means they didn't let the skins touch it. So, um, interested in trying some of that out, but it was pretty expensive, so don't expect me to be doing it anytime soon. Uh, let's just buy the glass. But yeah, so, um, I like it. Alright, so, uh, as always, thanks for stopping in. Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, email me. Throw some comments down below. Guys, seriously, comments. Or email me or something. I need some more viewers. I don't have tons of viewers. I need more. Tell your friends about it, okay? Tell your friends. There's this guy out in San Antonio. Thinks he knows he's talking about. Talking about some cheap wine. That's it. I'll see everybody again next time.